So, I'm back. Bingley Brew Club again. Another can review. This was in our Christmas box seven months ago now. She's crazy to think that seven months has passed so fastly. I am, there we go, looking forward to reviewing this beer because last weekend I reviewed a vocation number 666 and it were an incredible dark imperial stout. This time we're going for Northern Monk, Northern Star, chocolate caramel biscuit porter, 5.2%. So, half the percentage to what I tried last week with the vocation Kirkstall combo. Um, I am a fan of stouts, uh, I'm a fan of chocolate, caramel notes, um, the sort of treacle flavours that you pull through, plum, whatnot. I've stored this in the fridge at four or five degrees. It's got a best before day on of the 26.05.23, which was about um, six weeks ago now. So I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. Probably not expecting as much from this beer as I did that vocation. That vocation was like a limited edition run. Uh, it was quite quite special. It had a local coffee um, company doing the beans. It had Kirkstall and Vocation, who both worked on it. Northern Monk are obviously a huge, huge player. They're over in Leeds. Um, I think they've been going about 10 years now, Northern Monk. Started in a, in a I think it was a, his grandma's cellar. Um, brewing beer for him and his mates. I mean, now they're a million pound brewery. One of, probably one of the biggest in the UK, definitely the biggest around in Leeds. Them and North are definitely up there. Um, yeah, it says fresh from the North at the top. There is uh, a street scene on it. It says caramel biscuit and chocolate in a circle. And I'm not too sure where that street scene is. I'm not sure if it is meant to be in Leeds. Um, but yeah, so this one doesn't give you a recommended temperature to drink it at. Um, with stouts, uh, I store them in the fridge and I take them out a few days before I'm going to drink them so they get to room temperature. So this one has probably been in the fridge a month to be fair. Um, it's just one I found on the shelf that was spare from Christmas. Uh, it's been out of the fridge for a week now at room temperature so I'm not sure how warm it is in here it's just it's a fairly cold room so we can say 10 degrees roughly um, this is the artwork it says keep chilled on the back of it but I tend to find that them uh, chocolatey notes come out a little bit more when they're out of the fridge so Bingley Brew Club glass again, it's, it's clean, it's just been washed. Loads of uh, smoke there, lots of carbonation coming, quite a lot of chocolate splatter. Does smell like roasted caramel chocolate sort of thing already. So. Obviously, two finger white, uh, two finger white, two finger tan head. Just going to take a quick picture. So I'll leave the camera so you can see it. The brie. Uh, there we go. So. I just do quick pictures like that so I can post them on Instagram, um, share with with the beer, with the breweries. So dissipated to about a baby finger in head. Uh, Colour wise, dark, tan, black, maybe a deep deep red or brown. Um, it kind of just looks jet black. I'm saying that colours because 
Uh, obviously with Guinness and stuff that is not black, it's like a deep red. Um, but it's hard to see that, normally it just looks like jet black doesn't it? That's why it's like the black and white stuff. So, head kind of sticks to the glass, runs down a little bit. It, uh, it's got some very strong caramel smells coming through. And a bit of like, like a burnt coffee sort of smell. It doesn't smell fantastic. Uh, it wasn't like the vocation beer that I tried last week. That was just an outstanding smell of raisins and, and plums and chocolate and coffee. And This is probably about half the price. In terms of beer, I think that was about £6 a can. This is probably closer to £3 a can. And yeah, cheers, we'll get into it. Oh, interesting. So, I'm only going to take one mouthful for now. Very thin. Um, the I'm pointing because I've still got the can over there because I've not moved it yet. I've been away this week. With the vocation beer, it was thick. This one is thin, like really thin. It was a hit of almost like tobacco, like uh, stuff you'd put in a pipe, like tobacco, cho uh, chocolate, caramel, a small, small, small amount of coffee. like, I want to say like a burn end sort of thing going on. And a bit of sweetness, so I, I actually taste a bit of marshmallow coming through here. Which is interesting because it doesn't have anything, but if you could imagine like a snore, um, and throw that in a can, and make it liquidy as thin as water. That's what we've kind of got, which is interesting because I've just got a new beer. It is also from Vocation, and it's called Toasted S'mores. And now that is a limited edition can. It's about 50% more price-wise than this is. Um, obviously, when you buy a box through Bingley Brew Club, you don't see the price of the cans. You just pay for a subscription. You pay for a box. The beers that come in that box you can see on Instagram or on his website. So you're not sure if this can's three pounds or five pounds, you're not sure if the limited edition ones are two pounds or, or eight pounds, but if you went onto the website to say you wanted another beer from Vocation, it were a special edition, you'd see it's wow that's that's a six pound can or that's an eight pound can. Um, I think this is brewed more towards the three pound mark, and and that tells because of the thinness. Um, yeah, I think the the body kind of lets it down a bit, but but it does make it very easy to drink because it's thin. So caramel, I get that. Chocolate, I get that. Biscuit. Don't know if I get biscuit. I get something burnt, but I'm not sure it's. A biscuit. It does taste very much like a s'more, which I guess you could say is a marshmallow chocolate biscuit. Um, burnt nuts. I'm just looking to see if there's anything else that it says on here. Oh, it says Brethren 3 on the end. No, they keep bringing out Beveren beers. It says, hey up where Northern Monk, a few years ago we set out to brew some of the best beers in the world from a dance cellar in the north. We didn't have much, but with the support of friends, family and a £5,000 gift from a grandparent, we've come a long way. A lasting commitment to creating the best beer experiences we can whilst working with the community around us continues to drive us forwards. So one of the main reasons I do work with these is they do do a lot of community work. So they've got the patron projects, they work with local artists, local charities. Um, this is not one of them beers, but um, what well, interestingly it says, one of the best hundred small companies to work for 2020 on the back. 
probably quite hard to see. Uh, this is not one of them beers, but obviously if you uh, want to shop local, if you reduce your CO2 of your beer coming in from abroad or wherever it's coming from, it's just a good thing to do, isn't it? It's good to support other things like charities and local artists and help everyone. And if everyone gets a little bit of this pie, more people can be around for longer. Cause there's a lot of people, breweries mainly, going under, I think one a week at the moment in the UK. Uh, back onto this beer to sum it up and then I can finish my review. Uh, thin, watered down almost, chocolate, uh, burn on the back end, um, yeah, I've probably got some of these, if you want to try it and you've not tried it, let me know, if you like these videos, you want to see more cam videos, stick a like on the video, share it with a friend, uh, subscribe to the channel, helps, cheers.